Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be filming another grocery haul for you. I seem to get a lot of positive feedback from these videos and I actually think that they could be really helpful for someone who is new to the vegan lifestyle or for someone who is slowly transitioning into a vegan diet and is in trying to incorporate more fruits and vegetables. I always read all of your comments on my videos, but I read all the comments specifically on this last grocery haul that I filmed and a lot of you actually suggested that I check out Aldi, which is where I went this week. And thank you all so much for your suggestions. I I absolutely loved it. The produce quality has definitely improved since I last went and they had a lot of really good deals which you will see shortly. So in total this week I probably spent around $35 on groceries and I spent about $8 at Walmart. I needed to get a toothbrush so that's why I was there and I wasn't sure what Aldi was going to be like so I just bought two bunches of bananas and then a bag of organic apples and that was around $8. And recently I've been trying to be more conscious about buying more organic produce, but I am a student on a budget, so it is harder for me to buy all organic food 100% of the time. So if you're in a similar situation as me, I highly suggest that you check out The Dirty Dozen. It is a list that is published yearly of the 12 foods that contain the highest levels of pesticides. So those are the foods that you should buy organic. Some of the most common foods that you probably buy on a regular basis would be spinach, apples, and potatoes. But other foods like bananas, for example, are a lot lower in pesticide levels. So it would be okay or more okay, I guess, to buy those conventional if you're on a stricter budget. So anyways, that is all I got at Walmart. So now I will move on to everything I got at Aldi. And I got some really good stuff at Aldi. I just shopped their sales, but overall their prices were still really low. So I was really happy about that. And all the stuff that I got at Aldi's was only $27 and a few extra cents, which as you will see shortly is a really good deal. So I got a watermelon. This was only around $2.50. So next I got this box of organic spring mix. And this, like spinach, is one of the foods that has more pesticides, so I decided to buy this organic this time. But this was only $5, which is really good for baby spinach in general and for organic as well. Next, I got some hearts of romaine lettuce. Then I got some sweet corn, one avocado, a cucumber. I got a jar of maple syrup because I was running low and I was actually really impressed at this price. It was only around $6.50 I think and at most grocery stores this would be like $10 or $12. So yay. And next I got some bananas. The one thing I didn't like about their bananas was that they were covered in plastic bags and I always try to bring reusable bags and reduce my use of plastic. But these were a little bit cheaper and I needed more bananas. Um, so I got them anyways. Then I got some corn tortillas and I was actually really excited to find these. These are only about $1.50 and there's no added oil to them. It's just corn and then a few other ingredients. But that's really important to me as I try not to add any extra oils into my diet because realistically oil is not health food. So I was really excited to find these at an awesome price as well. Pro tip, if you want to make your own tortilla chips, you can buy these and just sprinkle a little water on them and then pour some seasonings on top and it'll stick and then just bake them in the oven and it's a lower fat healthy alternative to your conventional tortilla chips. Then I found this in the clearance section and it was only 25 cents. So I was like, really? How can I say no? It's essentially a sauerkraut, I think, but it's made with red cabbage and apple. And then there's a few other ingredients like vinegar and sugar. So I think it's basically a sauerkraut, but I'm really excited to try it and it was only a quarter. And then finally, mangoes were on sale at Aldi for only 50 cents each. So I just decided to get a box. I think there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got eight mangoes, and yes, I'm very excited for these as I am very excited for mango season. All right, guys, and that's everything I got. I hope this gave you some good ideas of foods to maybe purchase the next time you go grocery shopping. As I mentioned in my previous video, I do have a pantry tour where I show you everything that I have in my pantry in terms of non-perishable items like dried beans or rice. Again, I will link that right here if you're interested in checking that out. But other than that, that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.